Well, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Tony Brardo here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Brardo Podcast. Uh, I kind of wanted to show you around uh, here on YouTube. So this is the new, the new setup. Hope you guys are digging it. If you haven't noticed, I've changed my office like 17 times since I started a podcast. But I just added these things from IKEA, and I'm super excited about that. I can keep my headphones right there. Yeah. And then I got this set up. The cool thing is I got a couple uh, chairs, right? I got one there. Oh, check out all that stuff. I got the ring light in case there's not a lot of lighting, but there's a lot of good daylight here going on. And then, of course, my other podcast guest would be sitting right here on the couch. So definitely got a lot more room now. So I just kind of want to share that with you guys. And uh, I'm super excited. I got a lot of, a lot of guests coming up um, here in March. So uh, I just kind of wanted to to let you guys know I'm ready, ready to blow this thing up. So get excited. Let's get into today's episode. It's just, just funny. It's, it's just funny you know, how the way you tell the story and everything. Funny how. Come here, come here, though. Yeah, he's crazy, see? Who are you? We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Are you ready? What's up, guys? Hey, thanks for tuning in uh, again to another episode of the Barna Podcast. Uh, as you could tell, um, today's episode is about being a good person. Can you see that? So if you're on my YouTube channel, you'll know that I'm uh, I'm rocking out my Be a Good Person t-shirt. Compliments of Be a Good Person clothing company. Uh, and you could check them out uh, at uh, Be a Good Person. But uh, I thought it was fitting... Um, to wear this shirt considering today's topic. Today's topic is just going to be, you know, how to be good, you know, how to be kind, how to be a better person all day. I really think that's that's one thing that we we as a, a country has just, I don't know, it, it's, it's gone downhill. Um, you know, some people blame it on social media and, you know, all, all that. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with bad parenting. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping if you're listening to this right now, uh, maybe I can remind you and kind of shed some light on the importance of it and how it, uh, you know, not only affects uh, your life, but being kind, obviously, you know, affects everyone around you. And, uh, you know, it's important um, not just to be kind uh, to other people, um, you know, but uh, it, it makes you feel good, makes you feel better. And if you feel better, the rest of your day, uh, you know, gets better. And, um, you know, if you're positive, everyone else around you is positive and it's just, it's good. Uh, it's good juju, right? It's good. It's good excitement um, throughout the day, just to kind of get people, um, get people going, man. Because you know days are rough, and um, and the last thing someone needs is, you know, you acting like an asshole, right? So, um, so we're gonna go over that a little bit. But before we get into that, I did want to uh, remind everybody that I am. Uh, what is it? It is almost two weeks in. To fit for February, and um, you know, if you don't know, if you haven't been following me, or if this is the the first time uh, you're watching YouTube or uh, or you listen to the podcast, be sure obviously subscribe after you get done with this. It's free; it doesn't cost you anything. But that way, you can get all the updates um, when I post a new episode. But uh, if is if this is the first time that you're hearing about this fit for February, it's something that I started with my listeners. Um, I got a big group of people that. Uh, are, are involved in it this month. It, um, for the entire month of February, we're going to be as fit as we can, meaning we're going to watch what we eat, um, which, you know, people say that obviously, but, uh, we really watch what we eat. Um, we're going to try to get as many steps in as we possibly can. So that's huge. Uh, you know, obviously having a, a Fitbit or, you know, nowadays you can just use apps on your phone to keep track of your steps. Um, you know, so, uh, keep track of your steps, uh, is, is one thing, but the biggest thing about fifth of February is no alcohol. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's funny. I started this because I want, I really wanted to, uh, see how my body reacts because, you know, I'm 34 in a few months. So ever since I've been 21, I've been drinking every weekend, at least every weekend. You know, sometimes it would be every night, a glass of wine, a beer, whatever. So, uh, and that was since I was 21, legally. It was probably 
It's probably since I was like 17. Um, but legally, since I was 21. So 21 to, to 34. Man, think about it. That's, that's a lot of booze. So I, I wanted to see how my body would react an entire month of not drinking alcohol. So that's that's part of Fit for February. Um, and then, of course, there's uh, some little side challenges involved if you want to lose weight or um, if you want to maintain your weight or lose body fat. So there's a point system that I put together. And uh, the first place winner gets uh, a pretty cool um, Yeti cup uh, that's custom made. And then um, the second place winner gets a, uh, a little $10 gift card to a gas station. You know, you can use it for gas. Everyone's going to use that. Um, but that's going on right now. So two weeks in, and um, the first week was pretty rough. Uh, but like we went out and we had sushi the other night, and it was kind of like my cheat meal, you know, where I, ju- I usually get like an avocado roll or sweet potato roll or something, something vegan, quote unquote vegan. Um, but that was tough not to have like a glass of wine. It's been really tough. But I'm going to power through. It's okay. I'm getting it. Sometimes occasional, you know, occasionally we'll have like, I'll have like ginger ale just in a glass with a lime because it makes me feel, you know, like I'm drinking. Kind of like right now. But um, anyway, so that's fifth February. That's exciting. I'm going to leave a link if you want to pop in, check it out. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in, in my YouTube channel uh, in the podcast apps. Uh, but let's get into today's episode. So and the only reason I, I kind of came up with this episode is, or the reason I wanted to do it, kind of like a solo cast, uh, where it's just me, is because I started Fit for February, um, you know, in, in the hopes of just maintaining what I already have, uh, you know, like maintaining my weight and um, and obviously the drinking portion we talked about, but it started to make me realize that I was a little pissed off the first few days, right? Because my body was probably going through withdrawals with alcohol. Uh, but then after that, I I, I, I definitely slept better. Um, I woke up earlier, and I usually wake up, you know, at 5, 5.30 anyway, and, uh, and have a cup of coffee. But um, normally I don't sleep good throughout the night. Uh, I've been sleeping pretty good the last couple of weeks. So I don't know if that's um, a testament to not drinking or... Um, you know, just being more active. I've been working out every single day. So the reason I bring that up is uh, it kind of all falls together fit for February plus uh, this episode where I want to talk about being kind to people is because my outlook on life and uh, just me getting more rest, I realize I'm being more, even more positive than what I normally am. And uh, it's pretty interesting. I've been treating people differently. So uh, I really want to do a podcast on that because I, I feel like definitely we're, um, we're lacking in just being kind every day. You know, you should make a point very similar to how you get up in the morning and uh, you want to go to work and do a good job and maybe advance in the company, you know, whatever you're into. Um, or maybe just want to do good at where you work. And kind of like how you have that mentality, I feel like everyone should have the mentality of going out and just being nice to people. Because if we do that, not only are you going to feel better, but you could make someone else's uh, day better. In turn, you're going to cause a chain of rea- a chain of events that could, uh, you know, potentially make things better for a uh, hundred people, a thousand people, a million people, whatever. I think it's very impactful, and I don't think we think about that. I, I think sometimes we get caught in a little bubble. Thinking that, uh, you know, my job is the most important and uh, my vehicle is the only one on the road. And, uh, you know, I think we get caught up in that. So I, th- I wanted to, I wrote a few things down that I wanted to talk about um, that hopefully we all can learn something from. I know I did. But um, so the first thing is uh, treating your friends and family better. You know, that's one thing that I noticed uh, I've been doing a lot these last few years, but, um, I realize when you're not going out, getting wasted with friends at the bar, like this month, since I haven't been drinking, if you're not going out and actually drinking with your friends, you actually have room to call or hang out with friends that maybe you don't normally hang out with. Maybe that need a little, a little attention, 
a little love, um, a little caring. You know, maybe you haven't been so nice to them, but um, because you're not, you know, getting wasted uh, by drinking or you're going out with those friends that are always, you know, the bar hopper where they like to go out and just uh, and get wasted every single day or every single weekend. Uh, now you actually have free time to do other stuff, to hang out with, uh, you know, with the friends and family that you need to spend more time with. And um, again, I just think that's that's a uh, that's a way to show people that you care. Right, you're being kind uh, to those people, and remember, you know, friends and family. I mean, uh, they're not going to be here forever. I mean, none of us are, right? That this is all, this is all a temporary thing uh, that we're doing here. This thing called life. So you got to make the m- most of it, and you got to really, really consciously think about who you spend time with. You know, um, is it worth your time? Is it worth the other person's time? You know, that's uh, that's an important, uh, important fact. It's an important thing to think about. Um, this is a big thing, uh, that I've been doing, uh, especially this month is opening more doors. That's been huge. Um, God damn, no one does that anymore. It's crazy. Like I do it for guys and girls. doesn't matter. Uh, and, uh, there, there's one particular instance that, uh, that happened to me a few weeks ago and, um, and I went to UPS to, uh, ship out a package or something like that. I forgot what it was. I think I sold something on eBay. And, uh, you know, I had a pretty big package and I walked in and no one opened the door for me. Like there, there's people staring at me inside UPS and no one opened the door for me. And I don't need someone to open the door for me. Right. But like if, if the roles were reversed, I'm thinking to myself, okay, this dude's got a heavy package. Uh, something could happen. He could, you know, drop it. It could fall on his foot. Um, the package could break, you know, maybe he cuts his hand on the box I mean, there could be a lot of things, and the next thing you know, he's having a bad day for the rest of the day because of that instance. And the only reason that happened was because I was an asshole and didn't open the door for him. So I, I think if we think a little bit more about the end result, what could happen if I don't do this, we'll have a little bit more of a, a different perception on life. Um, I think we really got to make a conscious effort to, to open more doors. You know, say uh, say yes, ma'am, yes, sir. I know that's something that my uh, my my dad instilled in me was uh, just being more polite, and I haven't done it for the past probably 15, 20 years, and I'm really starting to get back into it. You know, if I'm at a restaurant, and uh, you know, if the kid's 25 years old, I'm saying yes, sir, yes, ma'am, because I think it it just makes someone feel better, right? There, there's a respect there, and um, you know, if someone's waiting on you hand and foot, whether they're a server or a bartender or, you know, um, or they're doing something for you, something nice for you. Uh, I think you got to show that respect and say, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You know, open the door for them. Uh, do those little, little things like that. It goes a long way, you know, especially if they're working eight hours a day and, um, and everyone's an asshole to them. You doing something very kind, like just opening a door for them or saying, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I think that goes a long way. Um, this is another big one. <laughs> Try this for the next couple of weeks. Just give it a shot. And um, <laughs> I know it's going to be hard, but uh, let people in when you're driving. I know. And you could say you do it, but you know you don't. Uh, you know purposely you'll, you'll look down and maybe ignore them or something like that. I've done it before. I get it. Uh, but one thing I've, I've, I've literally worked hard every day to make sure I do it is if someone needs to get in to a lane when I'm driving, I, I specifically slow down, you know, five miles per hour, 10 miles per hour. And I let that person in, even if it's kind of inconvenient for me, of course, I look behind me to make sure I'm not brake checking anybody, but, um, I do that. And the reason I do that is because I'm really enjoying the reaction. Uh, the look on their face is priceless where they didn't believe that someone actually let them in the lane like it makes you feel good because you know they've been there for a couple minutes just waiting on people (laughs) everybody's whizzing by and uh and you finally let them in right makes you feel good and um you know i realize when you do stuff like that not only are they happy but uh but it, it kind of 
again, it, you got to you got to think if the roles were reversed. So if you were in in that car and someone let you in, how would you feel? Right? Like how do you feel when someone lets you into a lane? You're like, "Oh, thanks, bro. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate you." Right? They don't hear you, but you say it out loud. Um return the favor. You know, do that uh more often than not. Uh, just make an effort to do it and uh, you'll get plenty of chances I'm sure to do it because you know people drive like assholes but I feel like if everyone cares a little bit less about getting to their destination in a quick manner you could be saving that person's day you know what I mean like letting them in they could be super pissed off they could be super frustrated throughout the whole day and you finally let them in it's just kind of like it's a sigh of relief to them Right, it goes a long way. Um, just another way of being kind. Another thing I've been doing that's uh, pretty funny that I realize sometimes I don't, I don't do very well is answering the phone more, or answering your text more. Uh, I've been making an effort to, to answer phone calls. Uh, maybe it's family, or maybe it's friends, or maybe it's a text from someone that uh, I don't necessarily like to talk to. But I've been responding. Um, you know, just that random person that maybe you don't talk to a whole lot, but they'll text you and you choose to ignore them. Just take a look at the phone and shoot them a quick text, you know. Uh, answer the phone if it's a person that uh, that maybe you don't talk to in a while. But also answer the phone uh, of a telemarker. You know, that could be funny, right? Uh, but again, you know, you're making their day, right? You're, you're, not, uh, you're not ignoring them. You know, instead of putting them in a voicemail, pick up the phone. You know, hear them out. Don't buy anything because it's probably a scam. But uh, hear them out. You know, spend five minutes talking to them. Let them shoot some rebuttals your way. Uh, but, you know, that that right there could make their day. Even though you don't buy anything, but the fact that they actually get to talk to somebody instead of getting voicemail after voicemail after voicemail, they're probably going nuts. I don't know if you know anybody that's ever done telemarketing jobs, but it is not easy. You know, it is not easy hearing voicemails all the fucking time. So you just picking up the phone saying, hello. Um, yeah. Uh, is, uh, is Mike there? Um, no, this, this is uh Tony, not Mike. Oh, well, well maybe you can help me then. Um, have you ever thought about uh, upgrading your, uh, paper? Uh, I have not. No. Uh, but what type of paper are we talking here? Oh, it's triple ply, uh, double uh, carbon copy. Dude, that sounds fantastic. Can I tell you something, though? I'm super excited about what you're doing right now. And I think you're going to sell a lot of paper today. But uh, it's just not for me, bud. Oh, but uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, man. But, dude, keep up the good work. Stay positive. Happy fucking Monday. Enjoy your day. Something like that. I don't know. No one's ever, no one's ever sold paper to me or the phone. I don't know why I use that analogy, but uh, just pick up the phone, man. Just make make someone's day. You know that could be a big thing for somebody. You know, in this one, this one's huge. This one's a big one. When uh, we're in such a social world, right? Like social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, it's it's bananas, right? A lot going on. Try not to post anything negative. You know, even if it's a meme, even if it's, uh, you know, political, <laughs> religious, right? These are all uh, these are all things that could have negative consequences. But we live in a social world. You know what I mean? So um, just be careful about what you post. Uh, I, I don't think we we think too much when we share something or, or retweet or uh, if we throw something up on the internet. Um, just remember, you know, uh, you don't necessarily have an obligation, um, but you are sharing content, right? Like, you got to think, uh, you know, some people use Facebook as the news. So whatever you share, um, if it's negative, it, it could affect someone's day throughout the course of the day. Uh, it could some affect someone's attitude. You know, have you ever sat back and watched the news? It's fucking depressing. It's horrible. 
because it's like shooting here, killing here, you know, political here, negative shit here. Uh, It's just, it's brutal. Like you cannot watch the news all day. You'll kill yourself. It's nuts. Well, you don't want your Facebook feed or your Instagram feed to be that way as well. You know, don't be afraid to share something positive. Share something motivational. You know, again, that that one little quote or one little video that you post that's funny or exciting or motivational, it could be the one thing that that gets someone through the day. You know, that's just a, another good way of being kind, right? Um, the the last thing is uh, is just be kind to your body. You know, treat your body better. That's one thing that Fit for February really taught me was uh, just these last couple of weeks uh, how I feel. Uh, my attitude level, my excitement, my positivity, it's really changed a lot, you know, uh, do, do some research, but, you know, working out or doing anything active, um, the chemicals that are released out of your body and, um, you know, the toxins that, that get taken away uh, when you train is, um, is pretty extraordinary. You know, your body goes through this really cool process every time you work out or every time you do something active and um, the recovery process is, is just as important. So um, I think you need to do some research and really look into it, you know, um, even if it's not working out, you know, yoga, meditation, running, bike riding, skateboarding. I mean, something that gets you out and gets you active releases a lot of uh, endorphins, a lot of stress, um, you know, and it's uh, it's very beneficial to your body. So uh, you know, I, I think it's very important that, that we focus on that. You know, um, being more fit, treating your body better, being cautious what you put in your body. Uh, that's important too. not just eating, but, um, you know, drinking, uh, you know, what type of what type of food and chemicals are you put in your body? You know, you only get one body, right? Um, you got to treat it good. And um, as I get older and I'm not that old, I'm, I'm 34 years young. But um, as I get older, I'm realizing that every single sip that I take of something or every single bite of something I take could affect me long term. You know, we don't know what it is. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, you know, what you put in your body, you don't really know if there's going to be a negative side effect until there is a negative side effect, right? So I think we just have to be very, very cautious about what we put in our body and how we treat our body. You know, and listen, all these things seem kind of trivial and, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe they are, but the reason I wanted to kind of do this episode was because I don't feel overall that we all understand that we have a responsibility. You know, you have a responsibility to be a good human being on this earth, right? Uh, you have a good responsibility, or excuse me, you have a responsibility of being um, an upstanding citizen, a good citizen, you know, doing little things like opening the door for people right? Treating your body better, um, taking care of your friends, taking care of your family, doing all the things that we're supposed to be doing as human beings, taking care of each other and, um, just being more kind. And I feel like if you're more kind to me and I'm a total stranger, it's going to make my day feel a thousand times better, right? I'm going to have a better outlook. I'm going to be positive. The next thing you know, now when I go into work, now I'm positive, I'm productive, I have a better day, you know, maybe my boss gets promoted because me and a bunch of other people are having a great day and, you know, throughout the course of months and months and months, we show great positivity and production and, you know, things are happening in the workplace and he gets promoted or she gets promoted and then boom, next thing you know, he's got a great attitude and then he spreads that, you know, there's there's a chain of events that happen when one person is is positive, when one person is kind to another person. There's this long chain of events. And I don't think we think about that enough. And I think it's very important that when you wake up every day, again, like I said earlier, very similar how you wake up and you want to conquer the day and you want to have a great work day, right? You need to also make sure you're a great human and you're a kind human being. And overall, you're a good person. Just wait. See the results. It's going to blow you away. Guys, that's all I got. Hey, thanks for listening to this episode. Uh, Again, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe uh, to the Barato Podcast. Um, I'll leave my YouTube channel up as well as the link to uh, Apple and Google. I'm available on all platforms. 
Uh, you could just search The Barodo Podcast. And um, I really appreciate the time. And thank you so much for listening. And until next time, I'm Tony Barardo. Peace. Thank you.